Hi guys. Hey. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a um, a bit of an impromptu um, podcast. This one's only going to be short, guys. Going to be very, very short. Um, hopefully, you've watched the one that we put up yesterday. The the masses won't get this. Harry's presentation on the heart, um, which is essentially going to be a kind of a bridge towards uh, you know between that and, and what we're about to present on our next podcast, which is just blowing my mind and blowing Harry's mind as well, talking about the um, this whole round being simulation, um, which we talked about before, but the evidence that, uh, that we're going to throw out there is going to be mind blowing. Um, but what I want to do on this one, Harry, I'm going to I'm going to get straight into sharing the screen. So th does this have anything to do with the, the what happened last last night after we finished recording? Yeah, the, this, was, this was my last night when you were in bed. This was nine o'clock last night. I, I just I, I was freaking out. OK, so I'm going to put you on the spot. All right. So I, I started by saying you must watch Harry's presentation regarding the heart, which is number 78. And we're going to blow your mind on my hopefully my Friday. This one is a teaser. Harry, you have no idea what I'm going to ask you, right? No, I just got home and you said, let's do this. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> I need to do this, my friend, in order for everybody watching this to see the message that I am trying to present. Okay? Now, I'm going to ask you some questions, Harry, and I want you just to tell me the first answer that comes into your head. Okay? Yes. All right, let's go. How many months of 28 days? One. All of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I thought you meant only 28. Okay. That's not the question. How many months of 28 days? Sure. How many letters are in the alphabet? Well, in the word alphabet? That's on... the question. First thing that comes into your mind. Uh, okay, 26 letters. Seven. How many letters are there in the alphabet? Three in the that eight. Okay. If you throw a red stone into blue water, what will it become? Uh, if you throw a red stone in the blue water, it'll turn blue. Wet. <laughs> if it took eight men ten hours to build a wall, how long will it take sixteen men? <laughs> Five hours. No, it's already built. <laughs> What's at the end of a rainbow? Uh, it's either a pot of gold or a leprechaun. W. <laughs> the end of at rainbow is the letter W. You throw an egg onto a concrete floor without breaking it. How is that possible? Uh, onto a concrete floor. Um, don't know. An egg can't break concrete. You <laughs> onto a concrete floor without breaking it. What is there? Referring to why do we drink water to hydrate our body because we can't eat it? Why do we drink water because we can't eat it? Before Australia was discovered, what was the largest island on earth? The largest island on earth, I don't know. I don't know of another island that's as big or close to it. Australia. Before Australia was discovered, what was the largest island on Earth? Australia. Just because it hadn't been discovered didn't mean it doesn't mean it, it wasn't an island yet. <laughs> a cowboy rode into town on Friday, stayed for three nights, and left on Friday. How is that possible? Uh, because the name of the horse is Friday. Good one. Good. One. <laughs> what comes after the letter B in the alphabet? Uh, after, uh, e. You're getting, it. You're getting it. Just for fun, which is the biggest? Mr. Bigger, Mrs. Bigger, or Baby Bigger? Uh, none of them. Baby Bigger, because he's a little bigger. <laughs> okay, a little bigger. What do you never eat before breakfast? Uh, never eat before breakfast. Uh, anything. Lunch and dinner. <laughs> How many seconds in a year? Oh, I don't know. 
12. <laughs> 12 seconds. 2nd of February, 2nd of March. 12 seconds. Okay. The shortest month of the year. Shortest month of the year. Mm -hmm. February. Hey, only got three letters. <laughs> How many people are buried in your local cemetery? No people are buried in cemeteries. <laughs> are they? No people. They're all dead. The corpses only. Oh, you know what I mean. All right. How many bodies are buried in your old in your local cemetery? Um, I, I don't know. All of them. Last one. How many books can you put in an empty bag? Um. Well, you can't put any bags, any books in an empty bag, or it won't be empty. Well, you put one because after that it's no longer empty. Yeah, <laughs> you, you hope for, you get you get the point. You get where I'm coming from because yeah. we we kind of we kind of consider ourselves to be awake, and yeah. we are still answering questions um, based on our indoctrination. Yeah, um, I mean, if you take any of those questions as a as a single isolated question. Um, you would give your indoctrinated answer. It's only when, when you got to the, what comes after B in the alphabet, you said C because you already had the previous alphabet question. Mm -hmm. Right? I just, if I just asked you that as, a, as an isolated question, what comes after B in the alphabet, you would say C. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what we've been indoctrinated to, um, to think and to reply and to answer. Yeah, the we, we we tend to overlook ambiguity, and we just throw out an answer uh, that we think is the most common answer or the most correct. Yeah. Where in reality, there could be multiple answers that could fit the question. Yeah, you just need specifics. Yeah, because where where we're pretty much going with this, guys, is we know or we thought we knew up until this point that we live in a duality. We don't. No. We don't. We live in a dual duality. We live in a duality of duality. Doesn't mean that we live in a copy within a copy. It means that everything is so twisted in this realm that we, we just believe and we think that the opposite of black is white and you've got the good and bad. Well, you know, black and white, mix, mix black and white paint together and you get gray. What do they tell us? We've got in between our ears, gray matter, the left well, and the right. Remember, remember, Nigel, that one time where someone was talking about how uh, if I tell you something and then I change the story and I and I lie, I, I make a lie, have I just told you the opposite? No. no. I told you a different truth now, a different reality. Yeah, I, I, I had a long chat with Mark last night. <laughs> from um, Sherlock's Apprentice and um, <coughs> oh, excuse me um, he doesn't go along with, with I was trying to explain to him what Logan means when he says these are my truths and Mike says I'm not looking for my truth I'm looking for the truth mm. I said to him you know the word truth has got R-U-T ruts right in the middle of it and we're trying, trying to find the truth we're trying to get out of the ruts which we're never going to get out of and um, so there are truths. And, and, and Mike was kind of coming back and saying, well, aren't they really opinions? Okay. Okay. But, you know, if you cooked some food, Harry, and, um, and, and I said, oh, that was horrible. And somebody else says, bullshit, nice. That was delicious. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that in, in the industry I'm in. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm in the food industry, so you see people who will take the same thing and one will love it and one will hate it. Right, so there you have your opinion. You know, one loves it, the other one doesn't, uh, the other one hates it. So is there a truth in there? What is the truth regarding that dish that you just cooked? Yeah. His truth is that he loved it. My truth is that I didn't enjoy it at all, mm -hmm. right? Then you have what, what, what you were saying yesterday. I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but we're going to go into this in much more detail, guys. Um, you have good and bad. Mm -hmm. You have good yeah. and you have bad. 
But you also have no nope. not bad and not so good either. No, but, but conversely, if you said something or did something unexpected, I went, whoa, not bad, bro. Yeah. Same words, same phrase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That has the connotations of being very, very good because mm -hmm. of my intonation when I said, whoa, not bad. But yeah, not bad. That, that, that movie was okay. Not bad. Not good. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what, what, I'm, 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 what we're talking about here, guys, is the duality within the duality. There's another level to this, another layer to this, but mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not seeing. So look, we'll let you go. And thanks for, we've had, God, less than 24 hours, we've had over 100 comments on them on <laughs> this video. Um, and yeah. keep going, guys, because, you, you, you know, with, with some of the stuff you're throwing at us, you're blowing our minds. So mm -hmm. just a quick one, just to throw that one in, we will be back in um, a couple of days. With, uh, with the one that we're, we're pulling together at the moment, um, which is blowing my fucking mind. And I know it's blowing yours, bro. Well, you know, it happened exactly like it happened the previous time. We get off our podcast, we, we, we discuss how we thought it went, and then boom, we start coming up with these ideas of, hey, what about this? Oh, we didn't include that. So, so it just always happens. All right, guys, catch you in a couple of days. Love you. Cheers. Take care.